Well, here as we roll into our Thursday, a drastic change from the 90 degree weather that was really stacking up for our first nearly week of uh, August. And as we roll here into the Thursday, we are talking not only a cool feel, but watching that our high temperature that is forecasted is more than 20 degrees below where our average is. And we've been nearing some records. So we are talking the opposite of the spectrum here of the temperatures that we've been dealing with. So grabbing an extra layer out the door may be needed and an umbrella as well as it's it's going to feel very fall like with the cool showers, the gray skies and that cool feel in the temperatures and a little bit of a wind in place. The good news is, is that this point of some cold temperatures is going to be short lived. We will be gradually warming. It is going to take some time, but by about Sunday, we should get back towards at least those 80s. So we'll be back on the climb. But what's staying again right in place is that monsoon moisture, which is going to keep us under a daily rain and thunderstorm threat, which we need the moisture, but when it comes down to some stronger storm threats, we'll be monitoring that. But with how cool our environment is, we're not expecting much when it comes down to severe threat here for our Thursday. We were still fairly warm for our Wednesday, bringing that instability, firing up some of those strong storms, and even seeing some damage reports coming from across the area with that hail and wind that was pushing through. But here for our Thursday, it's more gray skies and showers. Might get a little rumble in the mix, as well as note that we have sometimes some gusty winds with some slight switch, but again, not much warming all day steady right there on those mid 50s potentially topping off into those upper 50s as it's a battle of the gray skies and those showers overhead we'll note that really all day we keep the showers heaviest accumulation which isn't going to be drenching is in those early morning hours and then we have some again continuous scattered showers there even as we roll into friday morning with still the gray skies in place now some of this precipitation does include some of the thunderstorms experience from wednesday night but overall looking at our 24 to 48 hour temperature potential potential precipitation accumulation does get upwards of that quarter of an inch to even three quarters of an inch. So first round here definitely giving us a good dosing and then the threat is going to start to break up a bit. So we're not going to have drenching soils for everyone, but bringing some at least chances to continue to put moisture in our soils is definitely good to see. Now the end of this week is all about the cool feel. Even here as we hold to that fall like feel from our Thursday, Friday is going to have improvements, but still cooler than normal as generally much of the area holds into the 60s. We have some of those 70s there returning like areas of Douglas, Casper, and Medicine Bow. So getting a temperature trend upwards that is will continue to occur. What's going to continue is mentioned to stay steady. S dew points right around those 50s, meaning we have a very moisture rich environment that is going to allow for anything that moves through the area to trigger some of those showers. And as the temperatures climb upwards, that could potentially bring back some of those stronger storm threats, especially for next week. So we'll monitor those conditions, at least for the early forecast. It's about more of the cool, gray and showery conditions.